Well, good morning, bike fans. Welcome to DMT Desmotron Motorcycle Trips, and uh, welcome to a biker's play area, the Peak District National Park in Derbyshire, in England. It's Saturday, bank holiday weekend. I'm with my friend Alex. Yeah, we're going to do the Cat and Fiddle and the Snake Pass, and I think it's the. A5004 from Whaley Bridge to Buxton. So we're going to be doing those three great rows, but first we're going to Maclock uh, to have a bit of a fry, a bit of roughage, to give us some energy. Already? Cool. Let's see if we can sneak out while that bike's holding the traffic up. Uh, that was nice. Nice and convenient. Pop the <laughs> There's three guys from Leicester at their cafe that I know from uh, the Huggies uh, breakfast run at Mario Park Racetrack. They're going out for a ride out. And who can blame them on a day like this? Absolutely awesome. Right, so I'll put this uh, route into the sat nav. The loop we're doing today is from the Bike is Britain book, second edition. The section in red is actually 80 miles, about two and a half hours. I've bolted on this pink section to incorporate the Snakes Pass, so it could be anything from some four and a half to five hours, depending on how many stops you have, etc. So we started from Matlock Bath, where we have the fry up, up the A5012 to New Haven, to Long Nor, and then we're going clockwise to Algreve, up to the Cat and Fiddle Road, the A537, to Macclesfield, then the B5 470 to Whaley Bridge and then down this lovely little road the A5004 now that road's been fixed uh, we have a stop off at Buxton and then we travel up the A6 to Glossop and then down the lovely A57 Snake Pass Road uh, we go up the Derwent Reservoir Road which is a nice little photo opportunity and then we finish the loop by riding all the way back down to Bakewell and then to Matlock to finish the loop So we've just left Matlock and we are gone through Buxton and we are en route and we're coming past this biker's cafe but, and it's too soon to have a stop but uh, old Itchy Bladder said it'd be rude not to have a little toilet stop. I think you can measure a good run by the nod factor, how many times you nod to bikers. It gets to that point where you just you can't nod anymore because you're like a nodding dod all the time. <laughs> I've not rode him for six months, but luckily I've only stalled it once in Ashport, so I think I'm doing quite well. You, get, you do get rusty, don't you, yeah, when you're yeah. not it for a while? Yeah. So it's nice to get back out on the bike. <laughs> Dear. Right. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, there's a Ducati. Right, look at that for a view. <laughs> I can say that, can't I? It is a lovely view. It's going to be a good year this year for events and activities, I feel. I've just taken the BMW. 850 the f850 gsa out for a test ride if you're interested in going up from a, a lower cc bike to a mid-range bike then that's a really nice bike to consider um, if you're thinking of coming down from a big 1250 to a smaller bike, then um, that's a, a bike to consider. Look at that bottle. Okay, I'm just going to try and get past this uh, car because it's going too overly cautious, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing the uh, Scottish tour, uh, the Mallee Festival, which is a festival in the east of England.
just uh, ask everyone to look out. Uh, that's coming up soon in May, I believe. Uh, we've got the Adventure Bike Rider Festival in June. Look at that for a view as you come over the bridge. Very nice. Some stunning views uh, around this uh, territory in the Peak District, in the National Park. But uh, yep, there's a cut and fill, a few bikers there. See, there were some people sitting down. But yeah, you go around these corners, and there's another cafe around the corner. Okay, so that was the A537, that's part of the cat and fit anyway. Um, I don't want to film too much because we've got other roads to do. Yeah, so this is one of the roads that we're riding today. I wanted to ride the A5004, Long Hill Road. Uh, so we're going to stop up Buxton, get a, a refreshment. Uh, and then we're going to go from Buxton up to the A57, the Snakes Pass. Look at that for a view, very nice. Yeah, so if you come to the Beak District to do some uh, riding, the A5004 is a nice road to come between Whaley Bridge and Buxton. And this has just been uh, regenerated, it's had a facelift. Last time I came here it was all boarded off. Well, yeah. So all the parking spaces are full up at the minute. So I said to Alex, we we'll do just park next to this monument. It'll be okay. If anything, some other bikers will pull up next to us and we'll be fine. So there's our bikes. And some other bikers have pulled up next to us. <laughs> there we go. 600. Yeah. Yeah, I had a 600 years ago. It could be worse today than this weather oh, for, bank, oh, yeah. for a British bank holiday. <laughs> so that was a nice refreshment here in Buxton. And just reverse the GS out. You can cycle from Buxton to Bakewell. There's a, a cycle a higher place and that's a really, I think it's about 10 miles cycling. Um, you'll look up a cycle higher in Buxton, you'll find it. It's a really nice, um, it's the old railway line, you go through tunnels through the mountains and that's really nice. On the left here, if you stop in Buxton, there's a nice Thai restaurant just here. Simply Thai restaurant. See it's very full look, it's only lunchtime. Um, that's very nice. We're going to be heading up to the A57, the Snake Pass next. So we've just left a Glossop and we're now on the A57 Snake Pass, the Snake Road. It's a nice little road, this one. But yeah, a lot of cars come and park here and they go walking across the uh, Peak District. See them all walk. It seems to be a popular route there, look. Going up to the top, maybe that's the summit over there. Uh, and this is the bit where I'm going to stop and we can wait for a bit of traffic to go past. Uh, I think we'll get away with it. Yeah, we'll get away with it.
we'll get going. Loads of bikes coming past. And I just spoke to the guy from Biker Picks. He says he's had about four and a half thousand bikes come past today. Yesterday he was at the Cat and Fiddle, he had five thousand. See ya! And this is the pine tree section, just after that little lay-by where we just stopped where the guy from Biker Picks was taking photos. Um, and this valley here, down there, is the stream that gradually builds up into Lady Barra Reservoir. I thought they fixed all these roads. I thought they fixed all these roads. Yeah, they've just literally fallen away. But it helps us get in front of the traffic. <laughs> and you can see the Lady Barra Reservoir now on the right. Beautiful when it's glistening in the sun. Right, let's get a quick picture. Fantastic ride out today in the Peak District. 